I love you, but it is that I'm caught up so much so in, in what I've got going on that I can't really see you for you. I can't hear you for you. I know it's wrong, but uh, but right now I need you to see it how I see it. Her eyes are open. The Bible did not say that their eyes are open together. But it said after Adam ate, their eyes were open. There's no timeline here. We, we want to depict it happen at the same time. But why would it? Because she has already eaten of the fruit. She, she knows good and evil. But it's not until the man, the man does that, that that becomes a sin. Because watch this now. Uh, God never told her don't eat it. She could eat it. The serpent knew she could eat it. It's the man that didn't need to know what was good and what was wrong. Watch this now. Adam walks in on the scene. I'm in Genesis chapter four, chapter three. Adam walks in on the scene and looks at him, says nothing. When it is that you're caught, you're found doing something wrong. You, um, I, I don't really know how I feel, but I know I don't like, I don't like this. I don't, I don't know how to feel, but I know I don't like this. I, I don't know really what to think about it, but I know it makes me feel funny. Adam is in the image of God. He is in purity God on earth listen listen to me now bible says that god says i am a jealous god listen to me i don't want you serving nobody else the bible says adam saw that the animals were not good for him the bible never said eve saw that the adult that the animals were not good for her it never said the, the, the animals didn't desire Eve. It said Adam saw there was nobody suitable for him. The problem, the problem here in the text, the problem here in the text is that I know what's better for me, but, but the people I'm with have no idea how special they are. And is that we... We want to put blame on the enemy and say that the devil did this. And nowhere do we find the devil in chapter one, two, three or four. Is that the fall of man ain't got nothing to do with the devil. Listen to me. Preacher, what are, what are you saying? What, what are you saying? Stop putting stuff on the devil. You did. She's found here having a conversation with the serpent. We, all, we already know he sly, slick, he cunning. The, the serpent look good. Is it a, a, he shaped bigger than a man. And she's found talking to him. Yeah, 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 you, you, you see where I'm going here. Genesis chapter three, read that. The serpent's cunning, he's smart, he's slick. He is fashionable. He know just what to say. He looking at her for just the anointed, gifted, sexy being God created. And if Adam would desire her, why wouldn't the serpent? At this point in time, all we're dealing with is creation. There is no sin. There is no right and wrong. But Adam has to put a name on it and says, this is woman. This is my wife. Again, again, there is no point in time where there is sin. Watch this now. The devil, ooh, you see that? Not the devil. The man in the serpent rises up and says to the God in the woman that God created, why would he say you can't eat it, girl? You, you ain't going to die, is it not? Not built like that, not not standing like that, not not all not with all that curve behind you, all all that hair flowing from your head, not 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 with lips like that. You ain't gonna die. I die before you die. You 
You look too good to drop dead. Why would God tell you that, man? And uh, it says that she desired everything that the serpent said. Now it shifts to the tree and she saw that the tree was good for food. Up until this point, this is just conversation. God never told her she couldn't eat. God never told the serpent he couldn't eat. God never told the animals they couldn't eat. He told Adam, don't you eat. Because the knowledge of knowing that your wife is being desired by somebody else is going to drive you into sin. Listen to me. We want to depict, detail, picture the devil all in this situation. And it has nothing to do with him. Is that a majority of your life is you led by jealousy. You led by the emotions of somebody doing wrong. Desiring to know more than what God saw fit for you to know. Does Adam, I don't, I don't want you to eat from this tree because you'll realize just what you have. You, you'll realize just what's under attack. You'll, you'll realize what everything here is trying to take from you. Prove it, preacher. I believe that Eve would be having a diverted conversation, a perverted conversation. I think Eve would be having a, a sexual conversation. I think she would even be having a sexual relationship with the serpent. Now, mind you, this is before the curses. This is before sin. This is before the commandments. There is no good and evil, no knowledge of it. There is no wrong and right. There, there is no knowledge of it. There is no what I should do and what I should not do. Everything is free game. Adam has dominion and has to subdue. But up until this point, where you find that animals couldn't talk? She's talking to the serpent. Then why would this depict in the tale that there was not interrelationships between species? Think about that now. And then we go down to the curses here where this Adam walks into the room and he's like speechless. So much so where she's like, listen, we were just talking about the fruit. I, 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 I've been ate it though, uh, but it's good. And I ain't dead yet. Here, you eat it. Adam's trying to find out what is going on. Why are you, why are you always with this nigga? What? Why are you always with this dude? What? I, I don't know how to feel, but I know I don't like this. He knows the tree gives him the knowledge to decipher what the hell is going on. So he eats it so that he can see what this chick's doing. Listen to me. I know this is long. I know this is heavy. I'm going to stop right here. Stop putting stuff on the devil that he ain't doing. A lot of this stuff be y'all doing. You, you drove yourself to cheat. You, you drove yourself to act like that. You, you drove yourself to jealousy. You, you drove yourself to steal. Some, some of this stuff we want to come to God and be like, Lord, the devil did that. The devil ain't do that. You you did that. You you wanted to know too much. You you desired knowledge. You you wanted to see and decipher. And it wasn't meant for you to look at it like that. Adam says, for the first time in biblical history, in the history of the world, I hate it here. I hate it here. What well, is this thing I have dominion over? She'd rather spend time with him than be with me. I do. I do. I, I absolutely hate it here. I hate it because everybody can do something I can't do. I, I hate it here. I hate how I feel. I hate being in this environment. 
I, I hate what I'm seeing between my wife and this snake. I hate it here. And it says that the eyes were open and he saw they was naked. Listen, 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 listen to me. Listen to me now, man. If you read it, God will show you what's going on here, man. Read it, read it, read the Bible. Genesis chapter 3. I'm still in chapter 3. I'm still up at the top. We ain't even got down to God, God giving out the curses, God asking questions, man. Adam says, I hate it here. I hate the way you make me feel around this dude why you ain't got no clothes on why you giving what i named away i'm i'm calling you wife and you acting like a thought i'm i'm trying to give you a title a position and you let anything persuade you to get naked you let anything persuade you to lay down. You let you just let anything go in your mouth. You just you just taking anything because it's shaped that way. What what is it when I can see the potential in your life and you can't even see it? I I'm speaking life over you and you acting like an animal. I'm I'm tired <laughs> I'm tired of being here. If Adam runs off, I'm pretty sure she she right there behind him. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it says that they they heard while they're running God walking in the garden. And so he's like, man, I can't do this. I need to go answer the door for God. My goodness. But if I see it, God's going to see it. And what is he going to think of me when he finds out you out there sleeping with animals? I'm, I'm turning folk down and you inviting anybody into you. I'm, I'm holding myself back for marriage and you, you wait until we get married to just go do anything. Not just I. I ain't like you. I'm, I'm different. I, to be for real, I don't, I don't even know if I want to be with you anymore, man. You, you just, you ain't like me. You from me, but you ain't like me. You, you look like me, but you ain't like me. You, you, you stand like me, but you ain't as tall as me. You, you, you. You got the demeanor of me, but my God, you ain't nothing like me. I mean, your, your anointing different, your spirit different. You, you naked. You, uh, you different. God comes through and it's like, uh, where, where you at? Cause I'm knocking and I don't hear nobody coming to the door. Where, where you at? I'm trying to find you. Because this is our normal time to meet. Where, where are you? Is there something wrong? Because you're usually home. And I know you didn't leave the garden. Where are you, Adam? And Adam says, We over here hiding. We naked. And I was afraid. Watch this now. And God asks Adam, Who told you? You were naked. Listen, this is personal. This is not general. God is only talking to Adam. You not naked, dude. You, it's not you. It says that Adam saw they were naked and sold fig leaves together. But God is found talking here, not to Eve, she's naked. God is found talking here to Adam. Why, why are you taking on the guilt from somebody else? Well, 
Why are you seeing it the way you seeing it? Why are you personally carrying her burden on your shoulder? You, you ain't got to be ashamed for what somebody else did. It's like the woman you gave me. The woman I thought you were assigned to me, she didn't know me. The woman you were position and purpose for my life don't even want to be with me. The woman you gave me gave me of the fruit, man. I had to eat it because I wanted to know what was going on. And God asked the woman, what is this you've done? Watch this now. The Bible says that she answers, not in quotations, so this is veering to what she said. Not what she said, but veering to what she said. The serpent beguiled me. I had to look that word up for context in, in the text here. Beguiled means deceived. That's one interpretation. Beguiled means to, um, what is it, to, uh, to entrap. Beguiled in the simplest of as far back as we can have, I guess relate to um, historic wise, is to be girling. Okay. It, it, it is to compliment, to uh, seduce, to persuade for the intent of being inside of a female. Look it up. Look it up, man. Look it up. Look it up. It says it right there in the Bible. He beguiled her. This is not intent. This is, we did the damn thing. He did it. He did not want to do it. He did not pursue doing it. He wasn't trying to deceive her. Why would there be need for sin to come into the world? Is that they know nothing about it. None of these creatures. Why do we assume that the serpent's trying to get them to sin? He's trying to get this, this woman to sin? He's trying to, get, he's trying to get in her. He's trying to sleep with her. Consequently, God didn't hand down the curses. Listen, I'm going to put you on your stomach so you'll stop using that thing. When it goes to the woman, watch this now. He says from the, co from the relation to the snake and the woman, because you've done this, everything that comes from you and that comes from her is going to hate each other. Why, if the, if the fruit is the sin, is he cussing their genitals? I'm, I'm going to stop. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. God says to the serpent here, I'm going to stop this. Is that everything that produced from you is going to hate her. And everything she produced is going to hate you. But ain't nobody seeing. Not the serpent. Not the woman. It had nothing to do with the fruit. If, if it was, God cut their hands off so they can't grab any more fruit. If it, but then God cut their tongue out so they can't process food. God, sew up their mouth so that they can't even take in food. Instead, he had to curse the womb and put the serpent on his stomach so y'all can stop y'all can stop adultery y'all can stop fornicating y'all can even down to today you you want to make a man mad you cheat on him you want to make a woman mad cheat on him listen preacher you're going too far i don't know if i can subscribe to this listen read the bible unprejudicedly Re read it Taking out the fruit. Taking out the tree. Read it. Making the serpent a normal man. Don't, 
Don't even call him serpent. Call him, call him Mark. Call him, call him James. Call him, call him a day day. Call, call him John. Call him, call him Jeremy. Call, call him Bernard. Call him, call him, call him Corey. Call him, call him Dante. Call him whatever it is that you need to call him, but get perspective here of what it's saying. Is that at the root of the problem was not the fruit. At the root of the problem lied jealousy. It is lied deceitfulness in adultery. Lied, lied where it is that nobody's sinful. Why would there be motive for somebody to sin? God only told Adam, don't eat of the fruit. Why is she in sin because he ate? Why, why are they being punished now? Nowhere in there does it talk about anybody sinning. They didn't. Adam's trying to find out what's going on here. And then he drives into protective mode. Protect my wife. Because there's snakes out here. That I would think are my friends. And you a snake. I thought we was cool. And you a snake. Huh? I thought you was my boy. And you a snake. You, you hold trying to. I'm thinking y'all having Bible study and you sleeping with her. Prove it, preacher. God hand down some curses. Watch this now. He says you'll crawl on your belly every day of your life. And instead of eating, you're going to eat dirt. Somebody caught that. The rest of y'all did. And I'm going to leave it alone because I know children are on, on this channel. You're going to eat dirt instead of. And then he goes to the woman and he says, uh, enmity will be between your child and his child. So cursed are you in your womb that conceiving this thing is going to be hard for you. Conceiving what? Pain in what? Why are you cursing the womb and I ate from my mouth? And then God says, for the rest of your days, will there be enmity between the serpent and the woman? Watch this now. Prove, preacher, that there is a relation between the serpent and the woman. Your desire will be for nobody but your husband. Yo, y'all ain't catching this. Y'all ain't flowing with me this morning. That's all right. Listen, read it for yourself. Your desire will be for your husband, for he'll rule over you, that you're going to stop all this foolishness and do and go and be subjected to that man. Because you've caused him to sin because he loves you. And though Adam don't know what sin is, jealousy ain't no sin. Ain't nobody sinning for, for wanting what's theirs to themselves. Ain't nobody sinning because I don't want you talking to my wife. I don't, I don't, I don't want you flirting with my wife. It, it, ain't, it ain't no sin. I don't, I don't want, want you around my girl. The Bible says God is jealous. I am a jealous God. I don't want you to have no other God than me. Adam's made in his image. Why wouldn't Adam be jealous? Jealousy wasn't a sin. What you hiding from? Which is why when it comes down to the man, God gives him a hobby to occupy his time so he don't have to be so consumed about what that woman's doing because we'll spend it all day following her. We'll spend all day running, dragging her behind us. We'll spend all day babysitting a grown woman trying to make sure she ain't talking to no snake. You cannot talk to her all day long, find out she about to go to the club, now I wanna talk. I cannot, I cannot wanna go nowhere, I cannot be interested, I cannot, I cannot text you all day long Find out you're on the phone with another nigga and I want to talk. I, I, I'm all in the conversation. I'm, I'm trying to find out who it is that we on the phone with. What, who we texting? 
what what we doing. Consequently, it was not like that for her. God made it part of the curse. I need you to only have desire, not for knowledge, not for wisdom, not even desire of fruit is good. You don't desire to be for your husband. And that's it. We look in the world today and what do we find? There's so much perversion over sex and the woman's body and wanting her and this and that. And and then I look at the reverse side of it is that there would not be so much perversion if there was no temptation is that she is beautiful. You are. You hear me? You're gorgeous just the way you are. That it don't matter if you fit how the next girl looks to you. You can scroll up and down between this post and find find somebody that you think looks better than you. But I promise you to some man out there in the world, you everything. That maybe not the one you got is showing appreciation for what it has, but I guarantee you there's some snake out there lurking, looking at you. Your desire would be for your husband because it wasn't before. You just desire it to be talked to and desire it to be loved and desire to feel something. And it's ironic that it would be a snake that she's spending her time with. Somebody didn't catch that. Listen, I push you into the purposeful place of where it is you would read through understanding getting different perspective on the Bible. I don't believe there is a right and a wrong way. I just believe that there is a difference. There's a difference in spirituality where it is, where you can grow in certain ways and God can interpret to you certain ways and talk to you certain ways. I'm not saying the old interpretation is wrong. I'm not saying my interpretation is right. All I'm saying is it's different. Is that in the world that we live in today, a lot of, a lot of crime is a lot of sin springs from the, the, the route of jealousy is that I'm coveting. I either want what somebody else has. I want to look like somebody else. I, I think they're better. I think, I think they have more. Even down to working is that we buy certain things because we see it on somebody else. Are we, we want to look better than somebody else. Are we at, at the root of it? Even the very first actual sin in Genesis chapter 4, Cain kills a- Abel. And you have to look at that verse there and it says that Adam loved his wife and bore a son, Cain. And it says, and then she had another son, Abel. But we're going down to Seth and it says that for Adam made love to his wife. It applies all across the board, but did not apply to Abel. Whose sons was Abel? Listen to me. I pray you have a blessed day on today. We're going to come back with maybe part two later. I love you. More importantly, God loves you. Encourage yourself. You love on somebody else. You love you.